All right, guys. Well, I want to apologize. <clears throat> um, I didn't put a Christmas video up and saying Merry Christmas. I actually haven't put a video up in the last couple of days. And I want to kind of explain what was going on. Um, my wife has had COVID since it seems like the beginning of time. But it, it hasn't been that long. It's been... 12 or 13 days something like that um she i don't know we we're at the hospital uh friday no thursday the day before christmas eve <clears throat> i finally just got sick of her being so sick and it was off and on it's not like it's constant otherwise we would have done it long before now um but we uh she just kept being sick and then she'd feel better and she'd get sick and she'd feel better. She'd get sick and, I mean, you get it for about 12 days. So, finally, uh, we went to the doc or went to the hospital. Um, maybe it was, maybe it was Christmas Eve. It might have been Christmas Eve we were there. It was Christmas Eve because um, nobody else was open and I'm like, just get in the truck. We're going to the hospital. We're going to figure out what the heck's wrong with you. Hang on, I need to clean off the lens. I put a new lens on the camera. We're going to try not to use this around a grinder. That'd be awesome. I'm really good at putting lenses on a GoPro 8. <clears throat> Anyways, um, I've been doing a bunch of work. I've been trying to get stuff done um, while she's being sick. I'm kind of hanging around the house, not working. Um, but I'm trying to get stuff done here because I've got so many projects we need to get done. But I just wanted to wish you guys a Merry Christmas. I appreciate all my subscribers. Um, you know, sticking with me and the subscribers that come on every day. I appreciate you guys watching the video. It does help the channel. Uh, please like, subscribe, and comment. Hit that notification button if you're a new subscriber so you know when I get a new video up. Um, but anyway, some of the things that I've gotten done. Um, still working on Little John. That's what I'm in here doing. I need to see. I don't know what size wire this little bitty stuff is i don't know if that's 20 gauge or 22 gauge i've got a uh i've got a a uh, wire stripper in there that does 20 and 22 gauge so we're gonna we're gonna figure that out i'll show you what we're doing there but i did the tarp is on the dump truck i don't have the the, the motor sitting there the axles up there i don't have the tarp bolted on yet and then i still need to wire it um, I'm supposed to run conduit up it to the power and I hadn't figured out what I wanted to do yet but it is a four spring yes I drilled the holes in the wrong spot because I did it how they said to do it you're supposed to measure in between there and there measure the center mark and then come straight down and that didn't work well for me I was going to hit there and I was going to be way low up there I think because of the height difference um anyways because you know the back post is so much lower than that front post all the way up in the top so then what i did is i took a tape measure about where i wanted it to land and i clamped it up there and then i put a clamp on my back post about in the middle of there and then i just measured for my center that seemed to work out good but it's a four spring i mean to me that seems like it's got too much tension on it but i mean that's how they design it and i've got the tarp on it i need to finish you know i need to finish a couple small little things and then i need to wire the motor um anyways but in here on little john so what i ended up getting i called hct because i hated the big giant joystick they sent me and i got this one much smaller um you know it's not exactly the same as a factory controller this one's rubber coated um this one's not just hard plastic uh jeremy did send me some handles out of a yanmar and i may end up taking the board out of this and making it fit in the yanmar so i can have same same controllers um but i kind of want to see how it works first i may try to figure something else out but this is proportional and these are proportional buttons um I kind of like that better than that big rocker switch at the head. Now, if it was a factory rocker switch, I'd be all about it. Um, but they don't have anything like that. 
So then what I did is this kit came with this little thing. And basically, I just unscrewed my factory joystick right off of it. And then this uh, sure grip has a bushing that goes in it because it has a big aluminum body in here that has the board on it. And then I just put, I took their jam nut that they had and I jam nutted this piece on. So now after I get this wired up, I can get this boot to come up here and kind of mimic, you know, something like that. Um, I've got this back panel loose because I've got my harness all ran. This is actually what comes up to the controller. That in lies my problem. So these are what you call a Deutsch connector and uh, they're fine. There's nothing really wrong with them. Besides, I don't have any Deutsch connectors. I have what they call weather packs. And then, in lies a different problem. I have two female uh, four-position bodies, but I don't have I don't have any any males. I have. Um, let me see before I lie to you. So I do have. Two female and two male connectors so what I actually thought about doing is just splitting this up into two I can leave this Deutsch on because that's for the trigger I don't I don't even need that all I need is these four wires uh, I think blues power I don't remember what gr yellows ground and then the that white and brown is my control for one solenoid and then the other solenoid this goes back and it plugs into factory spots in the uh, in the machine so yes I could order this Deutsch connector the other problem in lies is I don't have the proper crimper for um, a Deutsch connector these take uh, a different style crimper well depending on what it is so this goes down to 20 gauge this is my smallest pin and I've got the I've got four females and four males. I'm, I think I have more than that, but anyways. Um, so my thought was is I might just cut that Deutsch off, and I might put a weather pack on it because I have this. Now I can order a Deutsch, but it's a couple days out. I'm still thinking about doing that because this is a nice harness. All the rest of it is all Deutsch. Um, a lot of the stuff that is factory is Deutsch-ish. Uh, nothing in here is really weather pack, which really doesn't make a difference. Um, but and I thought about uh, I thought about doing a single and doing a three because um, I can go that route. And I generally oh my gosh, never mind. There's a male four. That's what we're gonna do. My goodness, I didn't even see those. I looked in here yesterday didn't even see him okay well we're gonna do we're gonna do a weather pack if I have the right terminals um, okay let's just get to it instead of me talking and explaining what the heck we're doing let's just do it all right my thought was and I can probably make do I can probably make do if these are 22 gauge but oh and I guess 20 stranded 20 gauge stranded let's see is that 20 gauge stranded I would say that's 20 gauge stranded okay so we can do this all right I need blue yellow brown and white Let's see if we can get these out of this pair to where they'll sit all right. Here's brown and white. Okay. So what I'll do after I'm done, I'll just tape those back like that. But I would definitely say that this is 20 gauge. And then what you end up doing to build this I think the gray probably not maybe the green it's the green 
so those have to go on there and I have to go get uh, I can't necessarily crimp this right now but I'm going to show you the process I think you guys can see what I'm doing okay so what you do on these you decide if you want male or female on whichever one and then you place that just like that okay and then you use this crimper and you have to fold these terminals over because they're extremely delicate so you fold the terminals over and then I put grease in my crimper and then you crimp it and what it does is it rolls them over kind of like this and it squeezes that wire so then what you do as as this is crimped now you slide this up into here and then same thing you kind of push these over and then you put it in the crimper and it kind of does this and in that way when you're done what happens is you take your terminal and your terminal kind of pushes into the back of this and it locks it in and then um, it holds it off a certain a certain distance there and then when you fold this over this actually locks on or it, it compresses that little rubber boot that's now crimped onto this they call it a weather pack so then it seals it here and then when you plug it together obviously this has a seal on it there now you just made a plug and there there it's a really good plug I mean is it as good as like a Deutsch connector uh, some people say yes some people say no it's all personal preference but anyways you can get one of these kits I know this was fairly inexpensive it wasn't crazy money now you can get the same thing with the Deutsch connector um, but what they call these uh, I want to say it's like a solid terminal crimp and what it does is it has four anvils that come into it kind of like this it's a, a crazy looking crimper it kind of has a loop and you put it through a hole and you basically squeeze it and it has four anvils that pushes um, it pushes on you know kind of it kind of mimics this maybe and it'll it'll kind of push on four corners there and kind of crimp it um, they work fine I, I do actually like the plugs a little better the plugs are a little more robust but I don't I don't have them I generally don't use them if I put a plug on something I've always kind of put weather pack on um, the Deutsches do seem to be used a lot more on smaller wire and um, the crimp is not so fragile when when you're crimping something like this these little tiny fingers I don't even know if the camera is gonna pick it up there's little tiny fingers these things are so fragile you'll mess a couple of these up doing crimps even if you do them on a daily basis um, it seems like you'll still mess them up because they are incredibly fragile I have found that if you grease your crimper and give it you know some 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 lubrication some slideability I guess um, it does work a little better a lot of times I'll use the smaller or the a larger die to kind of get it started and then I finish it with my small with my small crimper and you don't have to like bear down two-handed crazy you just do it ever so lightly because the likelihood of you messing this up is pretty good so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try to crimp these over here I'm gonna try to build this plug first because I've got plenty of wire to to you know kill right here and if I get these to crimp really good I'm gonna go ahead and cut the plug off of this and then I'll build a plug over here you know to to get our plug in now on the other side of this if I do go to crimp this and I can't get these to go very good on this really small wire these small ones are even harder to do I'm gonna go ahead and order the Deutsch kit and I'm gonna order a terminal pack with Deutsches in it that go uh, 16 to 20 or 22 gauge and then I'll just order um, the bad thing is, is I have to order two crimpers one goes to 20 and 22 gauge and then one goes from uh, well 18 to 14 or 16 gauge somewhere around in there so that's the bad thing um, the nice thing is at least right now I can just order the one that I need and see if I need another one I guess um, anyways but because these are 
not incredibly expensive. I think I can buy a kit something like this for about 40 bucks on Amazon. So let me see if I can get this. And if I can, then we will uh, we'll get this plug built and we'll be off to the races. We're going to plug this in and we're going to try this thumb on this machine.